This is Ben with SkyFi Audio, coming to you from Glen Rock, New Jersey. Got a really cool piece in front of us today. This is the Sony TA-2000F. This is a stereo uh, solid state preamp that Sony made in the 1970s. Had it at the bench and opened it up and I just wanted to do a quick video of the inside while I had it open because this thing is so cool on the inside. All these sensitive controls that usually get dusty and, and cause noise and issues over the years were actually covered by this plate. So Sony put all the sensitive controls underneath this area here, which kept, kept the dust out. And this thing is performing really well even today. Very minimal cleaning needed on this unit. And this one is minty. We also have a nice wooden case for this one. So watch out for this. We'll have it listed soon. It's kind of a card based chassis. You can see the cards entering the front section here, keeping signal path short. And then this back here is the phono stage. And we can see it's suspended on the back of the chassis. Really cool. This unit is adjustable. So if you're overseas and interested in this unit, this is a very easy switch to work with your mains voltages. And one interesting thing I found in the back of this one is it actually has a sticker that it was set up for 220. So it's possible that this was purchased overseas in the 70s and somebody came back to the States and, and put it on the 117 selection. All right, so let's get into some of the features of this thing. Uh, it has basically everything that you would want in a preamp, plus these cool VU meters to boot. One of the things I really like about this is that can, the tone controls are not concentric. I have uh, an aversion to concentric tone controls because to me, if I'm gonna adjust the tone of a, a stereo system, I want the channels to be identical. So they've done away with concentric controls and both channels uh, are adjusted together here. We can completely bypass the EQ if we want and also change the rollover points for the, for the lows and highs. This has got some weird mic stuff. There's a, uh, a couple microphone inputs on the back and this knob allows you to mix in mic level. I guess if you're trying to do like karaoke back in the day. Uh, typical stereo controls, which come in handy for troubleshooting and, and playing back certain media. Got a kind of a weird selection scheme on this unit. Uh, and I think it's just maybe to speed up operating where maybe they're thinking your main sources are gonna be tuner, phono, and then maybe one or two other inputs. And you might select that here. I use aux one all the time, tuner, aux one, phono to keep you off of a uh, rotary switch, I guess. And then the tape monitor works in a similar way down here. All right, let's take a look at the back. Center channel output for those of you that are interested in that. The standouts on the back panel here are the adjustable cartridge loading for Phono 1, and then individual trim pots for each one of the other inputs. Uh, besides, it looks like AUX 3 on the front and the mic inputs you can't trim. Uh, but this is pretty cool. The reason you'd have this is if you wanted to balance your levels so that each source uh, was coming in at about the same level so that when you adjust your volume control or switch between sources, uh, there's not a big jump when you switch between a, a hot and a, cold, and a and a you know less hot source. There's those quarter inch mic inputs that I was talking about. Also got some switched and unswitched convenience outlets. Overall, very cool lit unit. Again, this is the Sony TA2000F, and thanks for watching.